to the Great Switcheroo Part 5. Welcome. Thank you for joining us. It's going to be a great time, a lot of fun. I'm kicking things off. Let's get going because I only have 13 to 14 minutes to pack everything I need to do in that small time frame. So let's get started. All right, we have here an 18 by 24 inch canvas. Um, and I am doing beautiful rainbow color pours. There's gonna be a lot of speeding up in this process because when this dries, I'm gonna have to do some more stuff to it. So stay tuned. In the meantime, I am going to flood the canvas. I'm gonna speed you guys up and I'll be right back. All right, guys, ready to go. So I've got all these different colors here and I'm gonna do different wispies with different colors. So we are going to start with, actually, I can tell you as I go, Windsor Blue by Windsor and Newton. And then I'm going to do a line like this. All right, then we have Iridescent Blue Green by Pebeo. Actually, no, I'm gonna do the uh, Iridescent Green Yellow by Pebeo first. There we go. Now Iridescent Blue Green on top. And I feel like my blue sunk. So I'm gonna add just a little more on top. There we go. Okay, so for this wispy, I'm going to use, uh, I haven't even really thought about what order I'm gonna put these guys in, ha! All right, let's, uh, we'll do that. Okay, so we've got Cadmium Red Deep Hue by Liquitex Basics. And we're gonna do uh, a wispy like that. Then we have Cadmium Yellow Medium Hue by Liquitex Basics, okay? And then topping it off, we have Iridescent Orange Yellow by Pebeo. So there is that. And then on this wispy, we are going to use, let's do it like that, Luminous Rose by Holbein. And this wispy is going to go that way. That's a bigger wispy than that one. Then we have Iridescent Violet Blue by Pebeo. There we go. And then topping it off, we have Windsor Violet by Windsor and Newton. Now you can see I did not put them touching each other. I've never done this before, so we'll see how it works out. And you know, I will always or can always fix it with my embellishments and the stuff I'm gonna add to this after this dries. So I'm just gonna take out this speck and that, and let's blow it out and see what happens. Okay, love it, love it, love it, love it. I lost a lot of the red here, lots of the red. So 
I'm gonna fidget with that in a second. But what I am gonna do is I'm gonna blow in here a little bit and try and spread out the color. That's pretty. Now let's see if I can get some red under here. Uh, you know what? Let me add some right here and see what happens. That might not be a good idea, but we shall see. All right. Wow, look at that. Different colors everywhere. I really like it. Now, as usual, a lot of these white cells are popping up, which is really driving me insane. So um, it's got to be the artist loft. They must have changed something with the artist loft. I don't even know. All right, so I'm not too concerned about how I'm blowing everything because I am going to embellish it. All right, so I think I'm going to leave it like that. And I'm going to fix up my sides. I'll bring you guys down for a quick close up. And then I'm going to have to let this guy dry and finish it off after it's dry. So be right back. All right, guys. So here is a quick close up of how it looks now. And it's not going to look like this once it's dry because I am going to bedazzle this thing. <laughs> Wait till you see what I have in mind for this. So there you have the close up. Now I gotta wait, I don't know, about four, five days maybe for it to dry really well. And then I will continue. So be right back in a few days or be back in a few days. Hey everyone, all right. So the piece is dry. Just wanted to show you guys really quickly what it looks like dry. You can definitely see the shimmer in there from the Pebeo iridescence. I'm really happy with the way it dried. Even though it has all those white cells, I'm going to take care of that with this. So what I have here is decorative filler, which is like crushed glass. Okay, you can get this. I get this at Michael's. Then what I did was I took a little Dixie cup put some of this in there. Then I took my alcohol inks, squirted a few drops in the cup, mixed it and stirred it up with a popsicle stick. And then I put them down here on the paper towel because they need to dry, spread it all out. And now they are drying. So in a day or so, I will continue with my project. I'm looking forward to adding embellishments. So that is the next step, getting the crushed glass ready. On to the next step. All right, guys, I'm back with the next step. So you can see here, I have placed my crushed glass uh, in certain areas around the canvas. I just wanted to place them and see where they would be uh, best to go. I will take them off after. Um, so the next step for me is I have what is folk art glitterific acrylic paint mixed with a bunch of beautiful clear hologram sparkles. Now this comes in all different kinds of colors. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a paintbrush, just a cheap paintbrush from the dollar store. And I am going to embellish and put this all on my negative white space on the canvas because I'm going to give this a nice shimmering background.
All right, so this step is done. Now I'm going to wait for it to dry and then we will move on to the next step. But look at that. This is gonna look real nice when it's dry and it gets a top coat of crystal resin and all this just, just gets covered. So moving on to the next step. All right, everybody, on to the next step. Now I've already gone ahead and put one coat of resin on here and it's been about an hour since I've done it. So now it should be a little tacky and this is where I'm gonna put the glass, um, the broken glass, the colored broken glass in the spots. Now I have my old phone here with pictures of where I had them placed before. So I'm gonna follow the pictures and work on putting ever so carefully the crushed glass down on the canvas. All right, everybody, I'm back for the final step of this video. So I put my first layer of resin down, waited for it to get tacky after about an hour, and I placed all my crushed glass on top. And now I'm going to put the final layer of crystal resin on top. So I'm gonna do that and speed you guys up and you guys can watch.